Hi boys and girls, I'm Mrs. O'Flynn and today I'm going to take you through a directed drawing on how to draw a flower. We see lots of flowers outside all around us. There's certain parts that we see of flowers too. For instance, these bright parts of a flower right here are the petals of the flower. Each flower has a center or the inside of your flower right in there. Here's another example of a flower. We can see some purple petals right here. And this flower happens to have a yellow center, right in the center. These long parts of a flower that stand up your flower. Does anyone know what those are called? The long part of your flower that looks like a line coming down is the stem of a flower, which is another important part. Then on your flower, they have these green things that come off the stems. You can see some on here too. These green parts that come off of the stems are the leaves of your flower. So those are some of the parts of our flower that we will be drawing today. All right. Everyone go ahead and find some crayons or a pencil or marker, whatever's fun for you. And we're gonna go ahead and start drawing our flower. All right, you may choose any color that you would like. I think for me, hmm, we're gonna start with the center of the flower first. I'm going to choose this color right here. This is the color orange. The orange is going, I'm gonna use for the center of my flower. Now, when we draw the center of our flower, it is a certain shape. All right, so I'm gonna find a spot right over here, kind of in the middle of my paper, right here. I don't want it all the way up here, or I don't want it all the way down there, right here in the middle. And I'm gonna do my best, and I'm going to try to draw a circle. The circle goes round and round, a circle goes round and round. There's my circle, just like that. Now it's okay if it's not perfect. Every flower is unique too. Every flower is different, so yours might look a little different than mine, and that's okay if it does. So there is my orange circle for the center of my flower. Let's see what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna put down my orange. I think I'm going to draw my petals next. Hmm, I might use the red for my petals. Can anyone find the color red on my crayons over here? There it is, we're gonna use red for my petals. Now flowers come in different shapes and sizes and their petals do too. I'm gonna go ahead, now my petal comes off the center of my flower. So I'm going to touch my crayon to the center right here. And watch as I go. Here comes one petal, I'm gonna go and down. There's one petal of my flower. Now I'm gonna continue and make more petals all around my flower. I'm gonna start right here, touch it to that orange center, and I'm gonna go whoop and make another petal. Let's see, I have one, two petals. Let's see how many we end up making. One, two, let's see here. I'm gonna make another petal. There comes my next petal. And I'm gonna to continue to do petals all along the center of my flower. Now my petals might look a little different from one to the next, and that's okay. On a real flower, they look different. Some might be a little bigger, some might be a little smaller. That's all fine. I can't wait to see what your flowers look like. I'm gonna keep making petals around my flower. Hmm, I think I have room for one more. We're gonna go one more petal. Now at any time, if you want your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or whoever's with you to pause the video so you could do your part of your flower, that is fine. You can do that at any time. Oh, look at all my petals. Now you might, your flower might only have three or four petals. Your flower might have 10 petals. Let's count how many Mrs. O'Flynn's has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count one more time to make sure Mrs. O'Flynn counted correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, seven petals on my flower, apparently. Beautiful, beautiful. Every flower is going to look a little different from the next. So once again, mine has seven petals. Yours might have a whole lot more than mine or a lot less, and that is okay. There's my beautiful flower. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put my red back here. Red right there. Okay, so once again, let's see. I'm going to start with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven petals on Mrs. O'Flynn's flower. And there's my one center. Now let's see. Every flower has the long green line that goes down from it. Let's see here, that's the stem. So Mrs. O'Flynn chose the color green for the stem. I'm gonna go on down from my flower. I'm gonna start right here, and I'm just gonna go whoop, make a line down from my flower. There's my stem, I like that, I like my stem. Now we're gonna go ahead and make some leaves coming off the stem. Let's see here. So the leaves come off the stem. So I'm going to touch my crayon to the stem right here. And we are going to make a leaf shape. Now every leaf looks different too. Your leaf might look different than mine, and that is okay. I'm going to go off my stem like this and right on back. There's one leaf. I think I might give it two leaves. So right here from my stem again, oh, we're going to go ahead and make another leaf right here. Two leaves off of mine, just like that. And I made my flower. Now, if you want for fun, well, we can keep using the green. We can give some grass below because flowers grow out of the ground. If I wanted to make grass, watch what I can do. I can make little lines like this. Line, line. There's my grass. There's my grass that my flower is growing out of. Just like that. Good. Growing out of the ground. And I might have grass around my flower. Now let's see here. Oh, just for fun. If you want, you can use your color blue. Over here. There it is. We can give a blue sky. I might gently color some blue sky around my flower just like that oh look at i accidentally got on my petal that's okay that happens that's fine i'm gonna keep going it's art good yes i'm gonna give mine a blue sky just for fun just for fun only if you want to only if you want to And there you have it. You have a flower. I hope you had fun doing this with us today. And I hope you get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather when we have it and go looking for beautiful flowers. Thanks for drawing with me today. You did a wonderful job. Good job today.